All right, ladies and gentlemen, what you see before you, going up for no reserve, starting off at one single dollar and selling to the highest bidder for no reserve, is this awesome, tastefully customized Volkswagen Sand Rail Doom Buggy. This is my car, you're buying it from me. It is registered to me. It is titled in my name here in Arizona with a clean, clear Arizona title. It has insurance in my name. Uh, I'm not a dealer. This is my personal car. It is equipped with all sorts of high performance Volkswagen uh, parts and accessories. Um, I love Volkswagens. Here's my license plate. So to start, this is equipped with a full-blown Stroker 2276. Most Volkswagens started back in the day, a little history, were, uh, you know, 1300 or 1500 cc single ports. And then later on, uh, they started going to the 1600 cc's like in 1968. And then people started boring them out. This is a 2276 full-blown Stroker motor. It is actually one of the highest Strokers that you can get. Uh, next to a 2332, you know, with a turbo or fuel injected. But it's 2276, has the upgraded 94 millimeter pistons. It actually has 44 millimeter twin Weber carburetors. Those are very, very nice. Um, kind of what you need on something like this. Has the upgraded Ram Air uh, fan shroud with the Ram Air. This is actually utilized uh, for this motor with the uh, oil cooler up there with the remote oil filter and the fan. I'll touch on that in a second. Um, has the uh, Bosch 009 distributor, uh, chrome coil right there, your uh, oil, um, oil pressure sender right there, your full ceramic uh, coated exhaust, your empty style uh, bolt-on valve covers right there. This actually utilizes the upgraded Volkswagen bus three rib transaxle. So this is an upgrade there. It's perfect for the fire roads, the back roads, the dunes. Um, very, very strong transaxle versus the swing axle. It has independent rear suspension right here with the uh, three by three trailing arms and then the short 930 uh, CV boots and axles off the Porsche right there, as you can see. And then it actually has about a 12 gallon fuel cell right there. And then your brakes are back there. You have your upgraded remote oil filter system right here, which goes through the oil cooler, which holds about another two and a half quarts of oil because these Volkswagens only hold about two quarts of oil, two and a half to be exact. So you got about five quarts. Then your fan to cool it. You have your newer battery. And then the oil, going back to the oil, comes all the way back here to the uh, fuel pump right there. So it's a full, full flowed case, as you can see. Very, very nice. Has true Weber manifolds right there. You can see down there is the hydraulic clutch and the uh, fuel filter. So I'll go ahead and fire up the car here. As you can see, it has a keyed ignition, oil pressure. And then I want you to see right back here. So ceramic coated exhaust. This isn't gonna upset your neighbors. It's still cold, so I don't have anything to hide. It's gonna be a cold start. You know, I have nothing to hide here for you guys. So my hands on the exhaust, you know, you can touch it. So we'll go ahead and fire up the car here for you. Let's turn this on. Fan comes on there for the oil cooler. This changes colors, which I will show you. And your tachometer, I'm sorry, your speedometer. There is your tail lights. And then up here, your driving lights and off-road lights. They're on two separate switches, the Hella lights. These are actually from Germany, the top ones. So these are on one switch, the outside are on another switch. So we'll go ahead and turn these on right here. Those are the middle lights right there. And then the two outsides right here. So you can see, very, very nice. Go ahead and turn those off. And then this is just another accessory right there. Let's see if I can get over that way. And then right here is your lighted whip for your flag for the dunes. That goes right there. Your GPS speedometer. That is your speedometer. And your GPS, which I want to touch on real quick. I'm going to turn off the car here. And then I want you to go ahead and see when the car comes on. Actually, you can change this to seven different uh, colors here. You have green, you have yellow, you have red, white, orange, purple, and I think amber. Um, turning brakes makes it awesome to drift in the car. CNC hydraulic turning brakes for the left and the right to lock them up. So when you're going around on a right-hand turn, 
you can pull the right hand uh, lever there down and uh, it will lock the right rear giving power to do a 180 degree turn or kind of like a little burnout spin out for the uh, power to the left wheel and vice versa push it forward to lock the left rear wheel to do a left turn a real sharp turn um, he here is uh, two twin uh, coolers for your kids uh, food or snacks or lunchables or adult beverages or coke or pepsi whatever you want to put back there you can remove those and put like a little storage rack has plenty of room there for tools uh, if you want to put a spare tire um, great thing about this to prevent theft it does have a removable steering wheel you can take that off you can take the keys out um, it also has four point harnesses right here to keep you securely locked in you don't have to worry about uh, flipping out of the car these are extremely safe when compared to the razors the can-ams the x3s Robbie Gorns, the YXZs, because you don't have to wear a helmet in Glamis, California. The UTVs you do. Comes equipped with uh, over-the-shoulder belts there, as well as three-inch lap belts. And then you have the shoulder pads, so it's a four-point harness to keep you securely locked in. Passenger grab bar, oh shit bar. Um, fully adjustable hydraulic uh, clutch and pedal assembly right here to accommodate any driver. You know, I'm six foot two, 230 pounds. I have literally about another five to six inches of headroom. Um, you can wear a helmet in the car if you want, so plenty of room. You can teach your son, your daughter, your wife, your kids, your grandkids how to drive. Uh, that's what I learned on when I was about eight years old was how to drive stick shift. This pedal assembly will slide all the way towards the driver. Um, the paint is exceptional. Um, I can't even show you in the video. You have to see it in person, but I'm trying to show you right there. These panels are very, very nice. I mean, you could take this to a car show. The roof is the same way. It's a very, very nice kind of like 3D effect if you can kind of see. But I mean, you can see the sky in there. That's obviously the sky, but it's very, very show quality. A couple smi uh, minor little blemishes. I think there's one like right there, you know, but I got nothing to hide. You know, I'd rate the overall paint on the car you know about like a nine out of a ten a um, couple of small blemishes here from the uh seat belts it is an off-road street legal car like i said you can drive it anywhere um you have the upgraded front uh, aluminum wheels with the wide desert track tires in the rear it is a no reserve auction if you don't like volkswagens you can pull the motor out of these things you can put in chevy ecotechs you can put in uh you know hondas you can put in subarus all you need is the adapter plate which runs you about 400 bucks 450 bucks from kennedy engineering um, i can help you go through that if you have any questions but these volkswagens are bulletproof they last forever when you're doing a true comparison against the razors and the yxz's and the polaris uh, uh razor x turbos and the can-am x3s and all that you have to remember Look at the recalls on some of those cars. You know, Polaris, there was a 15-year-old kid that burned to death. That's no lie. I think they settled like a $75 million lawsuit. Look at the Can-Ams with the front end all wallowed out. You have to make these gusset kits that everyone buys. You know, all the sand rails are usually manufactured here in Arizona. We have Fod Rail, Tatum, Joe Fab from Sand Limo. Uh, Predator Cars was out here. Uh, they also have Sinfab. Um, like I said, Danny Fod Rail. The best of the best are out here. Um, you know, I'm not knocking those Razor cars, but they are unsafe in my opinion compared to a sand rail you really don't see sand rails rolling over uh another thing to think about is the longevity you have to carry spare belts and those uh razors and utvs volkswagen's been around since 1951 they're still on the road today these things are virtually bulletproof you change the oil but it is an awesome awesome car equipped with a clean clear arizona title my name like i said here is the vin number i have nothing to hide you're more than welcome to stop by and drive it it is a no reserve auction like i said you can take it to car shows the other great thing about this is you don't even need a trailer you can buy a universal volkswagen tow bar for about 80 bucks you can hook it up right there in the front put it in neutral and tow this car cross country from los angeles to new york you can tow it behind a little toyota tacoma and nissan frontier you know, your wife's Honda Accord, if she had a receiver back there or a Toyota Camry, there's no tongue weight. You put it in neutral. Like I said, you don't need a trailer. The car probably weighs somewhere in the neighborhood of about 1,400 pounds. Very, very fun. Uh, always turns heads. And uh, please watch the other videos. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. And uh, it is, like I said, a no reserve auction. It will sell to the highest bidder. It's my car. I will let you come drive it, inspect it. Um, it is a blast. It is literally show quality. Thank you and good luck.